This is the Honey Bee Podcast. Uh, season 3, episode 2. Skirt! We are here rapping real fast. <laughs> Woo! I knocked my water bottle down. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is your host, Warren. Yeet! And I'm Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything that rhymes with Warren. Oh, God. Uh, does it have to rhyme? No, just go. Yeah. Out here, my name is Joseph. Ah! <laughs> and I'm on. Damn Finish it off last. <laughs> <laughs> Skirt. <laughs> okay. That's right with Ward. I'm Jay. <laughs> uh, okay, so minus the gang, 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 gang. minus our nice uh, mumble rap intro. Welcome to an episode of the Honeybee Podcast, season three, episode two. Um, once again, we are uh, back on YouTube, so you can find us again on YouTube.com. It's Brooklyn. Honeybee. Back at it again. Wait, huh? You can find us on YouTube.com slash Honeybee Productions. Um. And uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, before we get started, I would like to say happy birthday to Joseph, because it is currently his birthday. Jeff Day. And I'm an old boy. Um, the reason I also plugged the YouTube video is because I got a gift for Joseph, and it'd be funny for him to open it now. Oh, oh no. shit. No, shit. Oh, so no. I got Joseph some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you can't see it in the camera, but it's a Chaos Impact Special Edition pack. So here you I go, Joseph. Actually really good. <laughs> I actually hit up Tony beforehand. I was oh, like, "Yo, <laughs> I said I sent him a picture. I was like, Tony, which one do I get?" He was like, "Um, I don't know. None of these look useful." I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> there, there was this like I forget what it was called already. It was like this giant box that Dual I was Devi- gonna get. Was it pink? Yeah, Dual Devastator. Yeah, and you got like six like girl yeah pink cards. Those are like. The top tier cards. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised Tony didn't recommend that. Oh, it, it Tony was like, if he gets time. this, I will always lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's but yeah, I think I think the box set was like forty five dollars yeah. or something. Oh my god! It comes god. with like a, a lot of packs in it. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like it did. Oh, like, but it comes guaranteed with like these top like, tier, like, top, top, yeah. top tier <laughs> yeah. cards. It was all intentional for Tony. Yeah, nice. Tony wants to stay on top. All according to K Koku. So um. Some funny background story about uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh card stuff. Uh, like I, th- I think it was like four years ago. I g- like I got you a Yu-Gi-Oh pack as a gift. Oh as, like, yeah, as a birthday gift, as a joke entirely. But then Joseph completely forgot about it and like opened it like last year maybe, mm-hmm. and he found a thirty dollar card in it. Yeah, I was like, oh shit! All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, because Warren got me got me the pack as a as a joke gift. It was like th- three dollars. Yeah, $3. something. It was some yeah. cheap ass. And I opened it. I was like, haha, this is funny because I wasn't into Yu Gi Oh yeah, like yeah. that much. And then when it came back to it, I was like, Cyframe Gamma. This shit is thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Money. And I still have it. Oh, you didn't actually sell it? No. Have you I, sold? I don't cards? know how to go about selling oh. cards. So. Hmm. Yeah, just so, go to a card shop, I guess. But uh. so I'm waiting for the next message of Joseph, like, dude, I opened this. There's like a fifty thousand dollar card in here. <laughs> no, Do they kidding, have any like, like ridiculously cardboard. priced cards? Oh, tons, well, tons of them. Like, what's the highest you've seen? The highest I've seen is like in the thousands, but that's because it's like a championship prize. Oh boy! It's like if you win a, a tournament, you get that card. Hmm. It, and, and there's like it's not as bad as Magic the Gathering though. Magic oh, the Gathering God. is like if you want to be competitively viable, you need to spend like. Hundreds. Yeah, yeah I least. remember Tian saying that yeah. his deck was That's like, ridiculous. Oh, are you opening the, it now? The rule of the set. Yeah. So, are you opening it now? I just see if there's anything I recognize. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to do it quietly so that the Spotify listeners are like, <laughs> just like <laughs> what is that? It's actually just, just do it into it's the mic. ASMR, then we yeah. have our ASMR. Uh... Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how many. I don't. I don't know how many cards are actually in there. Uh, there's usually nine per pack. But like, they take a wait nine. Cards? Nine cards per pack. Yeah. So oh, like oh there's three, three packs, packs in there. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Nine times. Wait, three. they don't give you a full deck? No. No, no, no. This, y- is, this isn't a structured specific, deck. Yeah. Oh. I'll specifically say. Oh, was, like uh, there, th- there comes in full deck packs, or some yeah. of them. Some okay. of them are like pre-built, pre-made decks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's know. what I thought it was. No. No. Yeah, I knew there's some that are just like random cards based on like a subsection of. I was gonna open all of them individually. But, away from the, the mic. But they're not in they're Drake. not in card sleeves, yeah. dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you your card it? sleeves too. No, I didn't actually. <laughs> oh. Um but so today is probably gonna be another random stuff. Uh right. what I wanted to start off with actually. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, the camera oh, before, saw that. Before I start <laughs> off again, um <laughs> since before we used to be just plain audio. We used to do a lot of shit, like stupid shit, like physically that you couldn't see us do. The like Jay would always randomly laugh at yeah. nothing. <laughs> it wasn't nothing. <laughs> Not it nothing, was like but it was, I it would laughing. always think of something to say and be like, this is just way too dumb to say on podcast. So yeah. I'm just going to laugh about it in my head. 
So there, there are a lot of stuff we do behind the scenes of while we're recording the podcast. Like this is gonna sound, this is gonna sound so stupid, but sometimes I start like motioning, jerking off, and like making eye contact like Jay. And I'm just, so like in the camera, I'm just like. <laughs> While Jay's trying to have a normal conversation, <laughs> and it's just us two in the room too. <laughs> he knows there's no one else I'm looking at. <laughs> so if you ever guys, if you guys um, ever want like the full, I guess vibe of what the hell's <laughs> happening, it just, just go to our, the YouTube. Yeah, watch oh the video. God. So now you get the full thing. Oh, oh you so have. I I open the packs now. The the most expensive card in here is seven dollars. That's so not bad. bad for one card. Seven dollars. Yeah. yeah, the the pack itself was like ten, I think. Yeah, everything is ten. Yeah, broke even, pretty much. If you add up everything else. Oh, <laughs> what, what's the cheapest card it can be? I can't. Probably like it? cent, like literal pennies. Yeah, like is is there like a one cent card? I wouldn't be surprised. Remember the thing that I uh, made for for Brittany, the three D Ampharos? <laughs> yeah. Each Ampharos was like ten cents. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> and no one fucking wants those. Is guys. it? What about like? <laughs> Was that like her favorite Pokemon, or yeah. you just do that? I was like, did you <laughs> I just, just do that I just because it's dart at a wall yeah. and hit it for us? No, it's her favorite Pokemon. Is there um, how much is a what's a little furball? Karibo. Karibo. A Karibo. Yeah. How much it depends is on which, which version. One. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was just Karibo. one normal. I'm sure Karibo. some of them could be cents. There's one that's like thirty dollars. Damn. Yeah. But it's it's like another. So one Karibo of those. is a series now. It's not just a card. Oh, there's like like okay. Karibo fire, not fire Karibo, but like you know what I mean. Like <laughs> oh, Karibo on fire. It's <laughs> just hair on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just demon Karibo now. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, and let me go to my actual first random topic. Uh, so I was yesterday I was watching a documentary on the Atari <coughs> created ET, and like. You know how like that's like rumored to be like one of the worst games in mm-hmm. all of history. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they dumped it in the desert. Exactly. Yeah. So that's exactly what the documentary was on. It was just like a brief history of Atari and then the creator creation of ET and then them dumping it supposedly in the I, f- I have it written down the oh, no, it wasn't a rumor, it's real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. I was <laughs> like well I mean before they found out. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the Alamoro Al Almo Gordo the dump site in New Mexico. <clears throat> is where it was rumored to have dumped like millions of copies of like a the rest millions? of the God yeah of, like of the copies of ET that didn't get sold because it was such like a shitty like hard game. <laughs> so like the documentary is uh, pretty much just them excavating. Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excavating the dig site to just find the ET stuff, and <clears throat> it was just this one dude who was just like super obsessed with it. But then, like, news got out about it. So, like, on the day of the site of the dig, there was, like, a huge, huge crowd that gathered around just to see if, like, people, if they actually found anything. Mm-hmm. And eventually, did they found some copies, but not, like, not millions. millions, yeah. yeah. But uh, in the same, like, pile of rubble, they found, like, a bunch of other old, like, Atari 2600 games. So, it was, oh, like, pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. And, like, one, one of the big pe- names that went was the creator of the E.T. game. And, uh... Ernest Klein, the, the author. Oh, of yeah. Ready Player One. Yeah. Um, so a fun fact about the ET game that they mentioned in the documentary is that uh, obviously they want they want to pull one of those. Uh, it was like shortly after the ET movie came out, and then they were like, "Oh, we should like catch these profits and create a video game." We gotta stuff like it. dump it out like right now. Yeah. <clears throat> As so they, they usually do. Mm-hmm. They went up to the uh, lead developer, uh, Howard Warshaw. And then they were like, hey, we want you to create the game for E.T., but you only have five weeks. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then oh. he was like, well, most games usually create, you know, take like four or five months or so to like, because like it was like pretty, it's still Atari, yeah, it's, so it was like yeah, it's not as big early and, days. and uh, intense. But he was like, okay, five days. But he was like, I like the challenge, so I'll do it. And then so like he developed it, and the last person to play it before it was released was uh, Steven Spielberg. Mm. The the creator of yeah. the ET movie and he played it and he was like yeah I like it a lot <laughs> so <laughs> and then he was like so I'm not saying it's I'm not like necessarily blaming Steven but there's someone behind the camera like but it's all his fault <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh damn but yeah what so. was he smoking he must have been not paying attention yeah mm-hmm. I don't know he must have hit like two buttons and was like. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> or maybe he's never played a video game. Yeah. Maybe, he's maybe like, he's like, "Hey, when I huh. hit left, the alien moves left." <laughs> 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 I did good. <laughs> um, and yeah, I ju- I just found that like oh, like really entertaining to watch, just like a brief history of like how that actually like pretty much had 
like crashed Atari entirely. Oh God! Now Joseph can smile at the camera and <laughs> <laughs> uh, smile at, at no least one. This is not at me. Um, but yeah, it's oh cool God. that like the, <laughs> <laughs> the moment uh, ET like crashed, it helped. Well, not really helped, but like it was a big reason the video game market crashed in that time period, and then like uh, died for a lot of people in general. So that was really cool. It's always funny to hear the like weird things about old games because it's uh. I remember a huge thing about the Lion King game was they made it super hard on purpose mm. so that when uh you get it when you play it in arcades you would want to get it at home because you couldn't get past a certain spot. Yeah. So they were like, "Oh, this will make kids want to go home and buy a fucking right right mm-hmm. whatever it was on." Yeah. That, that they were saying that in the documentary as well that uh a big thing about the old games is that you know it's just you not being good enough to beat the game yeah. it's not like some like cheesy shit that like catches you off guard to mm-hmm. like make you lose you you know it's just you not being good enough so you have to like learn the patterns and get better yeah. at it it's especially back then when all the games were just patterns right. all mm-hmm. the time cuz yeah, there's not well, I mean, much even now they are but <clears throat> there's not much more they knew they could do go yeah Physically do program yeah. into the game <clears throat> but games games like that these days are like a lot more rare, but always seem to do pretty well. Like uh, the Dark Souls, Dark uh, Souls uh, yeah. series, and uh, Bloodborne, Sek- Sekiro, Sekiro. Um, no, same maker. So. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, from software. Yeah, and then um, soft. Semi the Star Wars Fallen Order. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like a lot of, I guess, sort of Monster Hunter. It's not like too hard. It's more of a grindy game. Monster Hunter, but it, it, it does have a lot of pattern yeah, recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, it's not like it doesn't have too much cheat. Well, I mean, I don't haven't played Monster. Hunter I wouldn't that say much. it's as as difficult as the other. Yeah, that's, ones, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's just like incorporates uh, pattern recognition. Speaking of Sekiro, do you guys remember <laughs> that that meme from that one Twitter user that got mad at a guy for cheating? No, Did you see that on, Se- yeah. on Sekiro. On Sekiro, yeah, there was uh, some. I think oh, it was he was asking for a lower difficulty or something no. like that. Uh, maybe. Was that no, it? I think was, there was like an article that was like, "Oh, I beat Sekiro, but I used some cheats to get through it." Oh. And some guy replied to it with like some oh, like yeah. holier than thou tone. He was oh like, "You cheated not only the game but yourself." <laughs> I was like, like, "Oh my god!" Oh, wow. yeah, 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 so it just became like a huge meme. I've never like, seen that. Yeah. Like, like what? What cheat codes were like? I have no I idea. I can't remember. I think he modded it in some way to oh, make it to make it easier. easier. Yeah. I want to look up the whole tweet. Yeah. Well, we'll keep talking. Though. Um. Yeah, it was a meme for a bit. Whenever someone would do anything remotely stupid, they mm-hmm. would like copy and paste that oh, tweet. Oh, it was such yeah. like a high horse type of yeah. shit too. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, here you cheated not only the game but yourself. You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took a shortcut and gained nothing. You experienced the hollow victory. Nothing was risked and nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. Over a fucking mm. video game. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and someone actually had to physically write that. Yeah. yeah. And be like, God, I. <laughs> Yeah, and be like, people are gonna love this. Enter. <laughs> I mean, I guess <laughs> they love it in a different way. <laughs> yeah, people did love it technically, <laughs> so that's something. And then, um, g- going back to the pattern recognition, it never really occurred to me that how obviously fighting games you require a large large amount of pattern recognition and such, but I n- it never like really clicked in my head. I just never made the two one on one connection that. That's exactly how normal fighting is. It's just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, and like pattern recognition and like realizing all their like weaknesses and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit! I was like, wow. I mean, obviously I knew both. <laughs> wow, are, amazing. Are both, uh, I guess mediums, but I just never made the connection. I was mm-hmm. like, oh wow, that's why they're both fighting games and mm-hmm, fighting mm-hmm, in real life. Mm-hmm. And that's probably why <coughs> it throws Jay off. Like, oh well. He did it three times. He's not going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and it psych. Because in real life, when you throw like the if fucking right most drab, open punch, drab, and right someone dra- jab, knocks you in the again. jaw for it every time, you yeah. drop kick and then get stomped. Yeah. Three times in a row. <laughs> and yeah. then yeah. you, the, the third one will hit. <laughs> yeah. Man, fuck you. The third one does hit. <laughs> Yeah, because he he expects the pure optimal play, but <laughs> when he's playing us, we're not even close to pure optimal. <laughs> nah, you guys have slowly oh, weaned me oh, off yeah. of that. Now I'm just like, I'm expect, just gonna wait and see. Expect, yeah, expect, I'm just gonna wait and see. I don't care. I don't know anyone. You, you just gotta play on reactions now, not on reads. Yeah, I don't have those though. <laughs> I don't. I don't need patterns. I'm anymore. illiterate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
just um, talking about reactions. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, same. Aren't you an English teacher? Mm-hmm. Read actions. Uh, so <laughs> if uh, if anyone is uh, interested in the documentary that I was watching, it's called Atari Game Over. I watched it on Amazon Prime, but I assume you can find it other places. But now to bring you to our sponsor, Audible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Uh, no, our sponsor is our Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Does anyone know the spiel for that? Hello. I don't know any of the spiel for anything, but I guess. I mean, it's not a sponsor, but I hear this sponsor a lot as uh, Ring dot uh, Ring dot com oh, Ring okay. Security. Um, mm. Do you actually? Yeah, I've heard. I've heard oh. it a lot. I've heard it a few times. Um, so my family actually recently just got Ring Security, as you all know. So when my dad, I, I was helping my dad set it up. So we got like I think three cameras. Oh, I forgot to bring. The, my bad. What? I forgot to bring the Alexa. Oh yeah, it's whatever. The eco dot. The eco dot. You have to go to that story later. No, I talked about it last week. I did. Yeah, Yeah, you should have been there. (laughs) (laughs) Um, but yeah, so we got the Ring security cameras, and a big part of it, uh, like their functionality, is that it'll notify you whenever it like uh tracks motion in front of it. So we got two cameras, but uh, we they came in the mail at night, so we just like set it up onto our apps and like made sure like they work and batteries are charged and such. So we just had them on running in our kitchen. So whenever someone would walk through the kitchen to get like a drink of water or something, mm-hmm. we'd get like two alerts from like, oh, the side cameras triggered, the front cameras uh, triggered. We're like, God damn it, this is so annoying. <laughs> and then uh, there's a point I, I was at work and my dad was at home and he walks in front of it and I got the alert on my phone. And then uh, another feature they have is you could like si- set off a siren in one of the cameras. So I was like, oh, I'm going to do it to uh, prank him. But then I was like, you know what? My dad's kind of old. He might get like a heart attack or something. <laughs> I'm going to not do that. So I like left it. And then later on in the day, I was home. And then I see my dad <laughs> got the same alert. And he did the alarm. And it scared, made me jump. I was like, God damn it, dad. I was gonna be, I was he probably looked at before. it and was like, oh, he's young. He'll live. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then like another feature is you could talk to your phone to talk to the camera. And he's like, haha, I got you. I'm like, oh, damn it. I was just trying to get some food, man. I was just hungry, okay? <laughs> but is it like... Uh, automatically uh start checking your voice on your phone or do you have to like turn it on no yeah there's a you have to like click a button okay, to like okay. start the call yeah, i guess yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. but i think you could always hear the other side so like can you can you hear back yeah because I'm, i was talking to you when you were when you did it to me just well, now you might have like closed the app oh yeah maybe my volume was just super oh. low too why what were you saying I was like, can you open the door, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, eventually, I'm going to do it to a point, like, I just leave the door open, and I was, like, call, talk and say, like, the D- door's open. <laughs> but um, were you able to hear me clearly? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, d- I tried doing it on all three of them. Well, I didn't get to do it for Joseph. He got My dad let him in too <laughs> early, but... When they're standing at my front door, I pressed the alarm button, and Juan jumped a little. He was like, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> and Jay was just like, oh, <laughs> Was like, I was staring at the floor, the so I was already not in, in a aware spot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the that took so long to install. Not because like it was a hard installation; it's just like screwing things into my house and like figuring out where to put it. Mm-hmm. It's such a fucking hard process, especially since I didn't have a drill bit, so I just had to like slowly drill into the <laughs> wall <laughs> using uh, the screw. Damn. Oh Hopefully. god! I mean, I had a I had a like an electron electric uh, drill, but yeah. still didn't have like a drill bit to yeah. drill holes. So that took a while. Um, and then my family also, ha- or my dad bought these like two solar pow- powered lights earlier that he put like randomly around the house. So now there's like three cameras and like these two solar powered lights. And then like we have like a whole defense system in my house now. <laughs> it's weird. Soon they're going to have turrets. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> they already do though. I was not Excuse supposed me? to tell anyone about that. Oh. <clears throat> uh that's why you did renovation on your front steps. Yeah. Because of the trap door now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't like this guy. Jehovah's Witness, see ya. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and Would you like to hear about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> um, you could do that now. Like, what? Set off the uh, alarm every single time. Oh, that's come. true. Oh, I was going to say, like, like, murder. Reaver, Reaver. <laughs> I mean. Murder, um, I'm not a mercenary. What's the word? <laughs> oh, my God. A mercenary. Missionary. Missionary, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. It can be. They really are. Depending I mean, who you're you following. If it. you're in Joseph's murder religion, you can be. Yeah. Murder cult. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Jay's. Or if you're just in <laughs> Christianity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what I was going to say earlier is... Um, the office camera look. <laughs> we have... Uh, 
we have a camera in my porch, but today it was super windy, so I kept getting alarms. But every time you turn on like the live feed, it's just the blinds going back and forth. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> and then later on in the day, I looked at the cam- the live feed from my porch, and all the blinds were just ripped off on the ground. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's why there's no Someone more alarms. Someone got tired yeah. of that shit. I was like, oh shit, okay, that's funny. Uh, yeah. So, Ring, if you ever hear this, please sponsor us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyone, if you hear this, please sponsor us. You're just going to keep setting us cameras? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're filming this podcast uh-huh. using a Ring camera. <laughs> <laughs> but those are actually pretty uh, high-quality cameras, too, which is really cool. And, like, even during the night, uh, like, their night mode vision, night vision mode. Do they automatically record? Night mode? Uh, like, if some shit ha- yeah, goes I down. So. It, uh, yeah, uh, there's, like, different, like... Uh, Subscription plans type of things where mm-hmm. like they have different features where it saves the recordings up to like thirty days or something oh, or like okay. sixty days blah 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 I don't know so do you do you have to pay like a subscription service uh not necessarily I think that is like, I'm saying like you right now oh like, I think we have like a free tr- I'm not sure I'm mm-hmm. not my my dad did all the buying stuff Weird. I just helped setting up set it up the eco dot the eco dot eco dot <laughs> damn it dad <laughs> can't speak English um. <laughs> But yeah, um, so that's that's that was my first two random topics. I feel like, like the second I get into my own place, like I'm just gonna make it like the most smart house like yeah. ever. Yeah, probably. I, I feel like I'm gonna go like hard <laughs> on shit like that. I feel the opposite, where my r- house is just gonna be an empty, <laughs> an empty <laughs> like apartment and like a PC and a g- Xbox. Well, I mean, realistically, <laughs> yeah, like I'm not gonna have anything because the you know, finances. Yeah, <laughs> if money wasn't an issue, yeah, I'd have like. The what is that? This the smart um uh, nest, nest the thermostat. Yeah, the, the thermostat. Yeah, nest, yeah, yeah. yeah, the thermostat. Mm-hmm. Like I've been wanting one of those. Yeah, ring yeah. and all that shit. Yeah, and then you just control everything through your phone. Yeah. So the moment someone steals your phone, they control your house now. <laughs> oh. It's like smart house all over again. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, you can set things to be like, oh, as soon as your house detects that your phone isn't in the house, so like when you walk out the front door, everything shuts off, and then w- when you walk back oh. into your house, everything turns back on again. Mm-hmm. Things like that are cool. So, uh, like, I guess another smart feature is, the you know, the smart bulbs I have? So, I used to have two in my room and then two in the lamp. Mm-hmm. And then my my mom was, like, asking if there's, like, a feature for, like, a smart bulb that we could use for the front door to just automatically turn on during when it gets dark. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, I just turned took one from my lamp. And then whenever I leave the house, I'd always say turn off all lights. Mm-hmm. But then I didn't realize that also now includes the front door light. Yeah. So, uh-huh. like, if I was leaving at, like, night... I was like, all right, turn off all lights, and then I go out the front door. I'm like, why can't I see anything? <laughs> why is this light working? Nothing's wo- nothing's <laughs> happening. But yeah, and then okay. my uh my dad was also going to Target because like to get some other stuff for the ring. And then he's like, oh, how much are those smart bulbs? Maybe I'll get some for the house. I'm like, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, really? How much? I was like, I d- yeah, dumb. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you gonna use it for anyways? He was like, I. I don't. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I just. I just yeah. wanted one. <laughs> I was like, "Damn it, Dad!" <laughs> oh, dude, when I um the the color changing smart lights that I have in my room, I got those this uh, past Black Friday at Walmart, mm-hmm. and then they had them like in those like those rollback savings like in the middle of the aisle, and I had like four of them like in my arms, and then while I was standing there, this lady comes up to the thing, picks one up, he's like, like fifteen dollar, fifteen twenty dollars for like green light bulbs who needs that and then she looks at me i look at her and then she walks away <laughs> i'm like yeah who needs that <laughs> <laughs> Damn. i'm just standing there with four of them in my arms Damn. but do they only turn green or is it no no, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah. but like the yeah, yeah it was advertised yeah yeah, turning yeah. Green. yeah i mean like yeah, haha, totally. <laughs> I, it's rare i know in my app it has like preset themes to like set yeah. the, co- the mm-hmm. colors to specific things yeah. but i rarely ever use those i actually just the most Common functionality I use is like the dimming it is like mm-hmm. dimming it and turning on and off. Yeah. But I don't know. There, there's a lot. Of, I know there's like a lot of things there. You could set it up to. I didn't look really deep into it, but I think there's called like a game mode where it tracks what game you're playing and changes mm-hmm. the lights oh, based on yeah whatever is happening in the game. That's pretty sick. Yeah, because a lot of those lights can go like next to or behind your TV. Right. Mm-hmm. So it matches the color of whatever the TV is, so it looks like it's extending past the screen type shit. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. I didn't know. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Is this all under the same? Because I'm pretty sure it's Philips. Philips, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the ones I have are Philips. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it's a way Hugh. What? Hugh. Philips Hugh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hugh's no. going because Hugh's like the color. 
Um, what are, what are the other brands of smart bulbs that Li- Lifex or L I F X? That's the only Lifex. other one that's like. This l- I literally never heard of that. It's the, ex- you know, same price point competitor as mm. uh, Philips Hue. It's just they have popularity um, type of thing. They have better colors in comparison mm. than Philips Hue, but I think the like app, um, you know, is just working. Eh. Mm. It's it's okay. I I think. Uh, Philips Hue is much easier to use com- in like for people that aren't very good with technology, that kind of thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I actually didn't know that um there there's a, like a I guess mode or like setting where I set my front light to turn on during sunset or yeah. at sunset mm-hmm. and turn off during mm-hmm. sun- sunrise. Yeah. But then I realized that um, early on when I first got the lights that the switch actually has to be on all the time yep. in order for it to working. Yeah. And like that I never knew that for the longest time when I first got it. So I was like, why don't these lights work anymore? <laughs> it was so, so There's dumb. There's literally no power going into yeah. it. Yeah. I I didn't really it didn't like really click in my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> like when I turn my light off, like using just the switch and then I turn it back on, something I always have to like remember to do is the color temperature is always gonna get because it's always gonna turn back on to a normal color mm-hmm. but when i turn it back on it's always like this gross orangey yellow <laughs> oh okay yeah so you'll probably get that pretty often so if you need to like switch it back you actually have to like because it'll a- automatically set white to that gross orangey color oh i think i think mine whatever <laughs> color you turn it off on it'll go back to that color Oh no! Wait. No, do you mean you the flick to the switch? Yeah, okay, never mind. Switch, okay, it'll set it back to white, but to like a gross. Mm. So because I I forgot I forget what I was doing, but at night I set the my lights to like red, mm-hmm. and then uh, I said I did the vocal command to turn it off. Yeah. But then I have it set to turn on at like six thirty in the morning to yeah. help me like wake up. So it was just like right. completely <laughs> red in my room when I woke up. Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> you woke uh, up in a Kill Bill scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so freaked out. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> I'm like, why is this red? <laughs> but yeah, the, the, uh, that's always pretty fun to do is like turn the things different color when you're like watching. Like certain things. Yeah, certain yeah. things. I, I did it when I was watching a Christmas movie. I turned one red, one green. I was like, yay, Christmas. <laughs> and no, I didn't watch Klaus yet. <laughs> oh, I I gave up. Okay. I, I figured you just weren't going to watch it at all. Um. What was I going to say? Ambient noises. There's ambient noises a lot to sleep sometimes, like in the middle of the day when it's mad loud and shit. Mm-hmm. That helps me a lot. Um, I've actually never um, done really ambient noises. Oh, actually, yes, I have. I've done it a few times. The one I found uh, very helpful is Rainforest. Yes, Rainforest, Thunderstorms. World War II sounds. I mean, Shut <laughs> up, one. One... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mon sent us once in a group in our group chat uh <laughs> World War 1 ambient noises and you it's in the when you turn on it's just <laughs> 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 like, Bon, what the fuck? He's like I listened to this for a full 30 minutes. <laughs> Help. <laughs> um also apparently Tam is here. Oh. Wait, oh. what? So, yeah. Okay. I didn't know he was Me, I didn't know he was coming either. Okay. But um hold on. So I was talking about this earlier, how I scared them. Unless my dad... Oh, I think my dad already opened the door. Uh-huh. Damn it. Th- so obviously my dad gets the notifications as well for when people are at the front door. So I try to set the alarm off before I get them just to be funny. But then my dad opens the door first. So I'm like, damn it, dad. You <laughs> beat me to the punch. Yeah. Do we have another mic for Tim? Yeah, yeah. We, I just have... It's not set up. Had, oh. Had, yeah. Yeah, it's just not set up. <laughs> 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 I didn't know he was coming, so I didn't set it up. Oh, yeah, you need that other thing, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all here. Wait, is Wait. he here here or is he pulling in? No, he's still pulling in. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I, I see him pulling him in the distance. All right, so now I have this open. So I'm going to slowly set up the mic yeah. while, <laughs> while uh, we wait for him to come. So uh, disregard anything that's happening right now, and we'll probably just cut this, I guess. I'm not going to cut anything. Unless one of the times Jay says something really stupid, which has <laughs> happened before, and he's like, "Please cut that out." <laughs> <laughs> or I say someone's name I'm not supposed to, or something like that. It hasn't happened in a while, though. There's, there's the Tam. Like, is it just Tam? Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, or something like that. 
<laughs> oh, sorry for some ASMR. I'm unwrapping Velcro. <laughs> some asthma. Asthma. Yeah. Asthma attack. <laughs> I'm having an asthma attack. Okay, so Stop my, touching me. So no. since I have the live feed we open right now. We have video proof of this shit um, now. He, my, my dad won't get the uh, notification. So hold on. Let me see if I can show this in camera. Oh, no, I can't because. Oh, fuck. I have fucked it up already. I forgot I can't alarm the thing when I have it on full screen. Hold on. Why? That's weird. I don't know. Yeah. That's so funny. everyone in podcast listeners just <laughs> don't mind this. Your house about just to get robbed to and you're just Yeah, just listen to our no- nonsense. Yeah, it's about to get robbed, and it's like, oh, no, I'm full screen, I'm full screen, no! (laughs) Oh, shoot, (laughs) oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Yeah, he's waiting too long. All right, fuck it, I'll be back. (laughs) Wait, what's happening? It's taking too long. Just do it. No, it has to activate device or something like that. Oh, that's that's weird. All right, so now that Warren's gone, we're going to rob him of everything he has. Yeah, and then, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that was it. All right, that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of this, you won't because we're taking all this shit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joseph. It's <laughs> 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 all yours now. I'll take his most expensive thing. Him? His box set of oh. Backstreet Boys VHSs. <laughs> that are all the same VHS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, he has like 10 like Backstreet Boys VHSs up there. <laughs> and they're the same exact shit. <laughs> I did you ever tell a story on podcast of why you have like ten Bashy Boys VHSs? I think so. I okay. think he did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He he just left. He's getting up. He's getting a seat. He's getting a what? Um, oh, seat. seat. Chair. Yeah. Um. I thought you said his. So feet. I'm too lazy to set up the actual podcast and this like settings I have to do. So I mean, to set up the podcast, set up the other mic. So he's just gonna share with one of you. Okay. If he needs to talk. Um. What, was, we what were we talking talk? about? Before? A- ambient. I don't oh, ambient noise. Yeah. <coughs> um. And so, yeah, one of the ambient noises I do like is rainforest and thunderstorms. Thunderstorms, yeah. yes. Yeah. But um, <laughs> this one rainforest ambient noise or I found, or track, I guess, it included, like, yeah. these really loud animals <laughs> in the background. <laughs> so like, you just hear monkeys and they're just like... <laughs> 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 like so Wait, it's like rainforest ambient sounds? Yeah, but and then, then, like, every five <laughs> seconds... Yeah, and then you just zoo. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that? I'm just trying to sleep here. <laughs> Sleep um, in the comfort of the wild. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's uh, another one. I think it was just like, I think it was called like Chinese Zen Garden. And it was just like a really loud sit- sitar. And it was just like, mm. beow, beow, beow. I was like, oh my and God. A, the occasional gong or something. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I don't think I've used like ambient sound by itself aside from the world war whatever thing. <laughs> so you have, did you actually use that to out. sleep? No, 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 no. <laughs> I played it. Because I was like, what is this? And I didn't hear it right away. So I just kept doing what I was doing. I was probably like watching anime or playing stuff. And then like, <laughs> I'm here. I was like, it's quiet in my anime, but I'm hearing bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these things what going the on? What fuck is that? So I realized it was playing for 30 minutes. And then I just. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but like. I thought you were just like li- no. doing nothing. And, like, just doing like, in running, his room. Doing errands. He's just <laughs> like, <laughs> with the World War One noises in the background. He just yeah. sitting on the floor in the center Dreams. of his room, like yeah. crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Chris <Crisscrossing laughs> with a <laughs> <laughs> frag out, <laughs> my leg. Or, or he's blank staring in his chair, <laughs> fucking nom flashbacks. <laughs> or he just, he's just staring at his monitor with static on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You see his mom enter in the background. Hey, you want dinner? <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure my mom has like done that something like that to me before. I was just kind of sitting there, like listening to music, but like staring into my wall or something like that. <laughs> and then like I heard someone open the door and then close it. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Juan, you want? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. No. <laughs> 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 I've only listened to it, and he just once. slowly. Went one. <laughs> 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 it's like, um, okay, you know what? No food for you. <laughs> Hear explosions. Oh, son, what video game are you playing? Video game. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, I'm just on the phone, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. No, I'd rather use ambient sound to, like, add to the music I'm listening to. Because, like, you know how some people like the whole, like, um, coffee shop feel? So it, sometimes in coffee shop, you'll hear, um, what do you call it? 
Uh, just like, like people talking, like, you know, small conversations. Yeah, I love listening quiet. to um, Beethoven with some gunshots in the background. <laughs> gunshots <laughs> it's my the favorite background. kind of music to listen to. <laughs> make, make you feel like you're back in the hood. It's <laughs> 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 like, ah, oh, yes. Yeah, just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> I guess maybe not good, but <laughs> just like the old days. <laughs> with the classical. With the classical. <laughs> it helps yeah. supposedly. I, l- I love my classical What, the gunshots or Beethoven? What situation are we talking about? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> anymore. Depends <laughs> the day of the week. <laughs> Sometimes I'm feeling more hood-like than my classical vibe. <laughs> Is it a, I'm in a gunfight and I'm, plis- I'm I'm playing Beethoven, or I'm listening to uh, gunshots and gunshots with Beethoven <laughs> as <laughs> the ambience? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that a in a movie like there's some like hitman murder thing, and then every time he was about to do like a dart take out a job oh, or by, like, classical music yeah he would listen to like classical music and headphones or something um, oh fuck that, that sounds, sounds like super familiar right um, wasn't that um it sounds like baby driver but yeah. he, it's mm. not, that was a classic yeah, yeah, it was classic rock it yeah. wasn't like oh was uh, it um kick ass with the with hit girl oh no i don't yeah. think that was it either but no that definitely was the thing right I'm yeah it's crazy yeah that's familiar cuz i remember like they put in the headphones and then they're like ah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Oh boy. Uh, I don't. I don't know why that. Uh, oh, I know why. So I just cracked my knuckles, and I just remember the conversation we were having the other day. How you could hear sounds more vividly, I guess, underwater. Underwater. Yeah. And uh, who was saying that? Who was like, "You ever crack your knuckles underwater?" Mm-hmm. It was just you. Yeah, and how, like how it sounds so much louder because uh, we were watching. Was it our Earth or Planet Earth? One of those two. Our our planet. Uh, I, oh, I, oh, I okay. said the both, <laughs> both incorrect things. Uh, our planet, and then we were watching like fishes eat uh, sea urchins, and every time they take a bite of it, you just hear that like. A yeah. We're like, uh, wait. So do they add like the sound effects to this, or mm-hmm. is this like the natural sound of it? And then we just went to a whole deep conversation. We're like, huh, I wonder, because like it, it literally just sounded like Velcro when they took bites yeah. out of it. Mm-hmm. But then we we're like talking about how. It sounds like super high def, like even though you're underwater. And you, you guys ever done the thing where you try to say a sentence underwater to someone else and see if they could understand yeah. you? No. Well, I know you have. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> never, you never been underwater. No, I've been underwater. I mean, you know plenty what I mean. Shut times. up. You know what I mean. No. <laughs> He's never been underwater. Willingly. But yeah, yeah, willingly. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's always it's always fun. You just hear <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> 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 what did you say? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and you heard it too, right, Jay? <laughs> 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 and then we went into like random like tangent of like the random sea facts that Joseph knows. Like apparently, was it like tur- oh, sharks? Do uh, you uh, I think it's called tonic immobility, where if you turn sharks upside down, they're oh. like paralyzed. Yeah, they just can't move. And also, sharks need to keep swimming in order to breathe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you turn them upside down, they basically just die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and he was saying that like. Killer whales, whales, killer are, whales yeah. are smart enough. Yeah, yeah. Killer whales are smart enough to just fuck with sharks and just yeah. go up to them, flip them upside down, and swim away. <laughs> and sometimes so they, like orcas don't even eat them. Like yeah. they will kill them and then not eat them. Like yeah. they they kill them like they're for natural. sport. Damn, yeah. damn. Because <laughs> they're just that smart that they're bored. Do they yeah. eat them though? Like I, can, I think can I they? think they do, but sometimes they will kill them without eating them. <laughs> that's that's, that's crazy. It yeah. sounds like a serial killer. Like uh, like uh, they didn't do me they do wrong or anything. Yeah. They just kill them for no reason. <laughs> I was bored, so I killed a shark. <laughs> and then, yeah, I forget. Oh, I I heard a fact today. Uh, Chiaki was telling me that like octopuses, when they're or octopi, 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 when they're hungry and they don't have food, they eat their own legs. Oh, oh what? They, really? They grow back or something? I don't know, something like that. I was like, what the fuck? That's <laughs> it weird. It just never comes back. <laughs> it just, just that would be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> they're not an octopus. <laughs> oh my god, octopus anymore? Octopus they're a septopus. Not too much. just, <laughs> they just no keep going puss. down the chain. I just keep. It reminds me of that one episode of SpongeBob with uh, was it Hashling Slasher, and he's eating his own. Yeah, arms. he has a oh, yeah. case of his own arms, so <laughs> he's eating like popcorn. <laughs> SpongeBob's got some shit, man. <laughs> there, there's some weird facts that I never knew about the sea, mm. and it scared me. Yeah, that stuff. Like, I mean. I went to church today, and uh, they talk yeah, about the uh, Moses. Su- oh, yeah, Moses parting the Red Sea. But I'm like, 
you know, if he parted the Red Sea, that must have meant they went to like the sea floor. But I'm pretty sure that's really, deep. really deep. Yeah. <clears throat> so like to have to walk all the way down and all the way up. I don't know. That's that a whole ass hike. It's fake. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> Lenny said something like they, they either, um, went in a shallow end of it during like dry season. Yeah. Mm. Or like low tide. <laughs> yeah, like something like dry that. Dry season and low tide. Yeah, and, and then <laughs> they just escaped like that, and mm. you know, yeah, they just never got caught, or it just never happened. It's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Do you guys ever watch um like Beyblade? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know where we're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's this one little montage where they were showing like how his how people like great figures in history have used Beyblades, <laughs> and one of them was Moses parting the Red Sea with a Beyblade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a still image of of Moses with a Beyblade in the center of the uh, of the, the Red Sea. sea. Yeah. <laughs> I have to look this up. Now. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I was gonna. I never like type in these words into Google. Moses, Beyblade, Beyblade. Beyblade. Moses, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Picking no speed, but da da da. I can imagine Moses just being like, "Let it rip, <laughs> <laughs> let my people go, let it rip." <laughs> oh, I have seen the picture. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> um and uh, shoot, damn it! I just forgot what I was gonna say. Now, uh, it was some. It was another C fact. Um. Oh, it's uh not really that interesting, but uh when Brittany was here, uh Joseph's girlfriend, she's a marine biologist, and she was the and ever since I've owned my turtle, we were never entirely sure of what gender it was. I was it, so I read a Snapple fact once, and it was like <laughs> oh that's that's how you knew that's how I knew yeah, yeah, yeah Snapple just, fact yeah, that's where we got it from <laughs> yeah so the Snapple fact was like female turtles hiss and male turtles grunt. So I was like, oh, my turtle hisses, so I'm guessing it's a female. So we just assumed it was female for the longest time. But then when uh, Brittany was here, she, she being a marine, bri- mar- oh my God, a, marine a, a marine biologist, we were like, what gender is is this turtle? She was like, okay, yeah, so it's a female because it has a flat stomach while mm. male turtles have an enclave in their tummy. I was like, yes, we were right okay. all these years. I also remember there was another one where we saw – uh, females have like longer toes or something like that. Oh yeah, longer or, like, sharpened toes. Yeah, or sharp something. sharpened nails or yeah. something. Yeah. And we were like, Hurdle kind of looks like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just like all these little things. Mm-hmm. And then I remember, I think it was uh, Kenny who randomly asked, "Is like, how does the shell grow?" And all of us were like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> 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 Literally, all of us in unison were like, "Oh, oh shit! I don't know." <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a, similar to like an exoskeleton type of thing. Yeah. It just grows with the turtle. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but then it kind of makes me curious about like how the inside works. You know, what does the inside of the turtle look like? Well, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jay. So does that mean like the because the way the turtle is, it's kind of it feels like they're tight in their shell, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, does that mean the space inside the shell slowly? breaks down a little bit and then grows out more so the inside oh similar like, like the, mul- um what's that word like the organs and stuff inside mul- molting the shell on yeah, the inside so, yeah sort of is that the right word yeah oh so like I, expanding I think, it i think yeah. you, what you're thinking is like the shell isn't part of the no turtle. i no, i like yeah. i i know that it's part of the yeah. turtle but it's like, like literally like attached like to the it's like part of their body so like it's not like armor if that makes sense. Or, oh, me, so it's me, not let, like a, Let me backtrack. Okay. Yeah. It's not are like a body organs, and then a shell. Yeah. Are there organs the same size since the very beginning? I, that I don't that's, know. That's like the kind of idea mm-hmm. I'm getting. Because like if they're getting bigger, mm-hmm. like their organs are getting bigger, doesn't mean doesn't right. it mean the space like that the shell encompasses have to get bigger on the inside? <laughs> <laughs> turtles are weird. Turtles are all turtles. <laughs> Apparently, like barely any turtles can actually completely retreat into their shell. Yeah, it's like it's like a vast minority of them can do that. Yeah, really? Yeah, like the like the full like Squirtle side B where they just go straight into. Yeah, I've uh, never seen a turtle do that before in my life. It's like a very small number of them can do that. Most of them can like tuck a little bit, yeah, not completely. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. Mm. Also, whenever my turtle's neck is entirely out, Jesus Christ, that neck is long. Yeah, that's (laughs) a long (laughs) neck. 
it freaks me out sometimes. Mm. I'm like, man, girl, you're huge. <laughs> but also, she's also like fat. Yeah. I'm, actually, I don't know if she's fat or not. She's just a lot bigger than she was before. She's yeah. probably really young when you got her. Mm. I'm pretty sure she was like she's the size four, of like a chicken nugget. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she fit in the Munchkins box. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Now she can't fit. Now in I can her barely cage. pick her up. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Like whenever I pick her up to feed her, like I change her into uh, to a different container, and then after she eats, I put her back in. But like she still hasn't like pooped or anything, so she's significantly heavier after she eats. I'm yeah. like, God damn it! Look. <laughs> and like I used to be able to like palm her to pick her up, but now I have to grab her by the side because like, I can't fit my my hand ag- across yeah, her yeah. back anymore. Dang. It's so she, funny. She a big girl. Yeah. And I've only had her for like two years. And like apparently she could still get bigger, but the environment uh, hinders yeah her. hinders her growth. Yeah. So I'm always like, should I get a bigger tank to help her grow more or leave her at this size? Because she's already pretty big. Because yeah. then eventually I'm going to have to use two hands to pick <laughs> her up. It's going to be a huge hassle. Have you ever heard of that um, story about a turtle? And uh, I think it's a, no, it's a tortoise. Tortoise yes. in the hair? <laughs> no. <laughs> there's um there's a tortoise somewhere close to the west coast and it just wanders a town. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And it just chooses it's like a whole neighborhood. Yeah. The whole neighborhood knows about it and it'll oh, just, it just walk into the house. Yeah. Right? If you leave your door open, it'll just wander into your house and it'll <laughs> yeah. just like choose to live there. For they said he's like a really curious tortoise, so yeah. if like he sees people, he'll yeah. just be like, Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. I'm living here now. <laughs> yeah. okay. You have a new roommate. <laughs> And uh, I I always laugh at that. Uh, I think it's like a gif of like someone throwing a tortoise into the water. But then oh, one of the yeah. comments is like, "That's a tortoise. They're land animals." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yeah. Send this boy free. Plop, and yeah. he just sinks. Yeah. I'm like, "That oh my God. that tortoise yeah, is dead." He's dead. <laughs> Say it so. I've always wanted to like look into I don't know how the hell this would work like the like logi- oh my god the logistics behind it but getting a koi pond for uh, <laughs> for yeah. uh, my turtle because like uh, when we were at soup dumplings the other day they had oh, a koi yeah, pond yeah. inside it yeah, yeah. and I was like huh maybe I should do this too <laughs> but then I assumed there's like some crazy like like installations that they have to do for it. Also, koi fish are kind of scary, man. Why? Like, they'll eat anything. Really? Yeah, oh, really? But they're pretty. Uh, Ravenous. Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. They just look like fish to me. <laughs> have you <laughs> have you ever seen one of those videos about like people trying to feed a koi fish pond and there's like a lot of them? Yeah, they just like all like fight each other. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah. I mean they don't really fight each other I guess, but they like pile on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah, they, I mean like whenever I go to like a a park or something and they have like a koi fish pond and they have like the dispensers for fish and such. Or fish food. Yeah. I always like try to like chuck it at different areas of the pond, so, so not all of them. Out, yeah. yeah, it's always fun. And then in those, I always see turtles too. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, brethren. <laughs> I guess. I always feel bad for them because it's like they look like they never get a chance to eat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I I don't know if they like they have a regular feeding schedule. Or they just eat the koi fish and then. Uh, oh, are you talking about the koi fish or the turtles? The turtles. Well, both, I guess. Yeah. Because they. Because literally anytime anyone f- throws them food, it looks like they're f- fucking starving yeah. and they haven't eaten forever. <laughs> but then you always see people throwing food in there. So you're yeah. like, they must have eaten a yeah. decent amount, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe there's just that many of them. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if they ever die of like overeating because they're just like, yeah, that's what oh, I'm afraid I see of. Food. I need it. I need it. Yeah. I need it. Mm-hmm. And then turns out they're full as shit. I mean, Hurdle ate rocks. And, his <laughs> and, and her own and shit. shit. Yeah. I, I saw it. Yeah. So like uh, it. my... Uh, uh, our f- our Gigi's been on the podcast before, but she wanted to decorate my turtle tank, and like she added like these like night like cute little pebbles and such to the bottom of it, and it made it look really pretty. But then Hurdle started eating the the little pebbles. We're like, oh fuck, what do we do now? Mm. And then we're like, all right, I guess fuck, I guess we have to take them out. And then we're like, oh man, my turtle's so fucking stupid. Why do you keep <laughs> eating rocks? And then over the summer we went to an aquarium, and we saw like this giant like maybe like. A hundred foot size sea turtle. I don't know if it's hundred feet. That's a lot. Mm. Yeah. It was like oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's really fucking large I, sea I turtle. I want to say though. it was maybe like four or five feet long. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I meant to say feet. I meant to say pound. 
turtle. Mm. That makes oh, a lot that of makes sense. A lot okay. Yeah. <laughs> like sea, goddamn. Yeah. Dude. So either way, either it's like really fucking it's large sea turtles. turtles yeah. From yeah. That yeah. <laughs> Todd Aang had to take away bending. Like, um, no, it's just a really flat turtle. Really. <laughs> As a pancake turtle. <laughs> <laughs> that um, sounds like it would be a subspecies. What was I talking about now? Oh, on the giant sea turtles was eating the rocks in the aquarium. And we're like, my turtle isn't stupid. It's just a turtle thing. <laughs> So you mean turtles are just stupid? Yeah, turtles are just stupid. And then I I, just I remember turtles, looking it up and it was saying turtles will put anything into their mouth that's smaller than their mouth. So <laughs> we have to. We're like, okay, if we get rocks again, we just have to make sure this bigger rocks are bigger than their head. Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, God damn it, turtles. You should get dumb. turtle a bigger tank and just put her in here. Uh, That'd be a cool background. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But every tank I look into or that I've looked at at Petco are like fish tanks and then they're significantly higher than it needs to be. So like oh, no. this yeah like that yeah height I guess. So if I need to grab a hurdle I'd have to like reach all the way like elbow deep in there <laughs> just to get it. But I mean, then if you can get one online yeah I, I have Petco, to look into yeah. it. But uh, in person buying it was not mm-hmm. I didn't find any. Did either of you ever have pets? Just fish and like uh, aquarium shit. Mm. I, like, uh, we didn't buy them, but we had parakeets that were given to us. So oh, I remember that. Them. Yeah. Damn. Did uh, you have those in high school? Or I don't remember. That was way earlier. I don't think so. But I know I had them in elementary school for a bit. Mm. But I then we gave them away that. to someone else because they wouldn't shut up. <laughs> 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 so. Skark! Yeah, exactly. Skark! Much. Yeah. Oh, what was that thing you sent in chat earlier about, or not earlier, but like yesterday about uh, the crows? Or oh, yeah, you can teach crows to actually um, repeat, like repeat what? what you say, like in the same mm. way that um, like parrots parrots do. But there's like a whole process. It's called it's called like freeing the tongue. But there's a post that someone said, well, you know, if you could teach them to say "caw" because you said "caw" at them so often. What if you just taught a whole bunch of crows to say run? <laughs> oh my god, that would be fucking yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. Run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so fucking Especially horrifying. Crows? Yeah. <laughs> god, man. Yeah. You're just like in a quiet village, and then you yeah. see a bunch of crows. Like, run, 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 run. I'd be <laughs> like, well, time to <laughs> head out. <laughs> Dude, imagine if we saw it when we went to Virginia uh, uh, for the, I mean, Vermont yeah. for the. Thing. Yeah, the Spartan race. Oh God, that'd have run, been run, run. that'd have been even worse. Oh I'm sure my God, that'll make you run faster. <laughs> no, no, like the fucking scary shit beforehand. Uh, yeah. Rather than like a, a like that a hurt a murder of crows. Rather than like a group of them. Yeah. As soon as we enter, there's just one crow on the mailbox. Oh. Just run. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know which one will do worse. That'll be scary, right? Yeah. I think. It'd be scary if it started out as one and yeah. then later and then it was like oh, hundred. Yeah. 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 Yeah, every, it's every just time one, you get and closer then... and closer, there's more that's like, what the fuck are you doing? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, they, they say it with like more aware, like alertness as yeah. you get deeper. The no. first one's like, run, run, run. Then no. the, the, all, the, all the way in, <laughs> run, run! <laughs> the next one is like, go back. Go back. <laughs> like, oh, go back. Two crows just yeah. go, back, go, yeah. back. <laughs> the next two are like, why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> get out, hurry. <laughs> Oh and then the God. last one is just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, and then you realize, like, wait, don't cross my <laughs> And then this is the normal cough. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a guy, but he can only say cough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a naked dude on a, on a stick. <laughs> oh, God. It's, he's been tarred and feathered. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, the, the original, like, main post uh, of that crow thing it was just like the crows are saying caw in a human accent right yeah rather than like <laughs> sounding like a caw or sitting like, like a bird yeah like, yeah is it like if you compare like how we say moo versus how cows actually yeah. say actually moo <clears throat> yeah so sounded like a accent. devil have you ever heard a giraffe hum i i don't think so <laughs> it's the greatest thing oh god <laughs> I watched a video where <laughs> it's just a dude at night in Africa listening to giraffes hum. Really? And <laughs> all you just hear is uh, no, it's a black screen because it's like dead of night. So all you hear off in the distance is giraffes. I type in giraffe hum, but then like 
the auto correct or um some of my Suggest. search terms were giraffe screaming. <laughs> God, <laughs> I remember that was a really. So I I just remember my coworker showed me this video of I forget what it's called. It's I, it was just like some fish in a river that it's, I think it's called a hummingfish. So I'm looking if this is the right thing. Um, shit. I can play the audio, but I can't. I don't have the scene set up to show the video yet, in the podcast at least. But the audio is only important part part of this, anyways. Not doing anything. Wait, why does that end? Yeah, that's the that's the fish. It just sounds like your your yeah. soundboard stopped working. Yeah. <laughs> and like the, he showed that's me creepy. the video he showed me was like a bunch of them in a river. So like sometimes it's just like quiet at night. Then you see. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that'd be kind of. What was that one too. that like mud fish that screams or whatever? I don't think that was real, right? I think it was just like voiced over. This has nothing to do with these animals. Oh. This is another okay. Animal. But yeah, I think like the video, like the fish popping out of the ground and going. Ah! Yeah. That. Right. Yeah, I think I think that was voice over. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, you're right. Yeah. Because they don't make it. They don't actually make a noise. Yeah. Also, I saw another random fact that uh, sharks yawn. I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. But <laughs> um. Can but you pull they up? They can't th- stop moving to breathe, so it's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you pull up the white bellbird? The duality of White shark. Elbert? Yeah. Duality of shark. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this thing. I've yeah. seen this. Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. I remember this. I've never seen this. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Jesus. So, if you guys could hear this on the audio, it's just... That's a bird? Yeah. yeah. It Jeez. sounds like a, uh, there's a move in Final Fantasy VII that's just like it turns the screen white and makes a pitch like this. And I'm like, did they just take a sample from this bird? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Animals yeah. are crazy. Yeah. Mm. Damn, nature, you scary. I mean, like, I think I'm still more freaked out about, like, deep sea animals versus any, oh, like... Oh, bird. for sure, yeah. Even, eight, like, <laughs> flying or... Especially since, like, there's so much of the sea that we still haven't, mm-hmm. like, ex- uh, not, I guess not adventured, but explored. I don't explored. remember if we talked about this, but, did it, like, do you know about how anglerfish mate? Yeah. Uh, oh wait. Yeah. yeah how they mate? No. How they mate? no. It's really. You, I, I want to get Brittany on a podcast because, like, I yeah, feel like I, everything I say is going to be so wrong. And then she's going to listen to this, call you up, like, Joseph, this is all wrong. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot. She's going to listen to all of this and be like, you guys are all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Every single sea creature you just talked about, you're wrong. Sharks are actually land animals. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> actually have wings and not fins. <laughs> <laughs> wings? <laughs> no, but I so as it. I remember it, um, anglerfish basically, um, so like the, the, w- the females are significantly larger than the men. And how they mate is the men, the males bite the female, and then their bodies dissolve into the female. Yeah. Oh. And the only part that's left of them are the testicles. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, you did tell me yeah, this. Yeah, you okay. did say yeah. this. Yeah. And then so over the over a uh, female anglerfish's lifetime, she just has a bunch of testicles hanging yeah. out of her. <laughs> So, so those aren't tumors. <laughs> yeah, it's not a tumor. So I just started cracking up while Joseph was talking in the story because I remembered in uh in our Earth that we were watching uh, the fish, the, the, the sea, the semen. fucking sea of cum. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So there's like this like school of fish that like I forget like why they do it, but they just like fucking come into the water. So they z- they do like a viewed out shot of the a drone section shot. yeah a drone shot of like the <laughs> section of water where all those fish were and it's just entirely white so it's just entirely <laughs> salty sal- like yeah. entire <laughs> section of fucking fish cum yeah and then it's just entirely white like all of us were like milk. <laughs> yeah all, all of us were like what the actual the worst fuck kind of milk. <laughs> it, it was so milk. funny we all started dick cracking milk. up so much oh ew dick milk <laughs> 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 it was because the ladies drop all their eggs like near the shore or something. Like right. That. Okay. So yeah. All the dudes just drop their loads near the shore. <laughs> That's Time so to get like that, that baby gravy. So funny. That's like if a bunch of humans just started like, no, like, circle drinking. Don't put on that every- image in my head. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Joseph? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you were thinking. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
if y'all sat on a rooftop and it was like, just <laughs> knock off this cliff real quick. And then this is where babies come. Oh, from. look, a girl. <laughs> Dead her. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Go, go, yeah, but going back to our Earth, it's just so funny how. Our planet. Our, any of them. <laughs> our planet, our Earth, planet Earth, all four of them. I said it's three things. But <laughs> any of those types of shows is so funny. They're like, look at this magnificent creature in the wild. It's also dying. <laughs> <laughs> because of humans. Because of humans, yeah. yeah. And then it's like, look at this wonderful walrus. It climbs up this mountain and kills itself. Oh, my God. If, um, you, haven't, if you haven't seen that, watch Our Planet. It's on Netflix. I want to say episode three or four. Yeah, it's the ice one. Yeah, and there's walrus suicide, and it's, like, hard to watch. Yeah, yeah. but... It was bad because obviously it was like really devastating and like tragic that it was happening, but all of us were cracking up yeah. like crazy while because watching we're it. Because up. we're messed up in the head, but still. <laughs> if you're messed up in the head too, then you'll probably enjoy that. Or Whenever yeah. I think about that scene, I think about... um. Yeah, that's why we kept laughing too, because we kept singing over it. <laughs> As it does the slow motion of the fucking body crashing down the <laughs> cliffside, and like his like his tusk breaking and everything. Yeah. Oh god, it was so saddening, but we made it so fun. That's how you cope with jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. World War Three, guys. Woo. Mm-hmm. World yeah. War One sounds. Sorry. Yeah, World War One sounds. Uh, Except it's walrus. Ambiance. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's, 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 it's just a wall of suicide. The ambiance noise. <laughs> 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 oh god. Ah, nature's scary. Yeah. Damn nature is scary. Damn nature. Um Zam nature. Oh look at that. It's an hour. Yay. So <laughs> yeah, we talked about we talked animals about for an hour. Yeah. And you some more talk I'm talking fish about cum. animals. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> fish nut. Yeah, we talked about Yu Gi Oh and then fish nut and everything in between. <laughs> god. Wait. <coughs> if you could have an animal right now, what would it be? They have an animal? As a pet, yeah. And it's, um, dom- it's like been it, domesticated. Yeah. I mean, a feasible animal. Oh, wait, wait. Before we go into that, you, I think you were the one told me that how in Australia that you could le- just like go and adopt a koala now. Not even just in Australia, just us. Oh, us too. Yeah. Because obviously, so if you guys are living under a rock, all of Australia is on fire yeah. right now. So a bunch of the wildlife is dying and um, a bunch of volunteers are saving whatever koalas they can and they don't have a place to you know, shelter them. So they're literally just selling them online to whoever is willing t- to, you know, shelter for them. So we could just go online and just buy a koala right now. Mm-hmm. Can't koalas yeah. give chlamydia or something like that? I right? think it's gonorrhea. It's gonorrhea. Yeah. Or one of those yep. two. Yeah. yeah, some some STI. That sucks. Yeah. But is it, that's like if they, like, cut you or some shit, right? Or is it like if know. you fuck them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but... If you're interested, you can go buy koalas now. I just realized our audio has not been working, huh? Yeah, I haven't what? been able to hear anybody oh. for the past like. I didn't even notice. I, I could hear. Oh, I can't. Well, I it does, can't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I haven't been able to hear one all podcast. <laughs> That's whatever. Uh, this happened last week, but it doesn't affect listen. It's just yeah. our Good. feedback. But da, 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 um, da, 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 da. you can own a co- uh, koala, a kangaroo in Colorado. Can you? Yeah. I have a friend. Are, are they n- a native yeah, in Colorado or like not no. native? But like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean, like, you know what I meant? Like, no, a common. Skiing or snowboarding no, in apparently Denver. Apparently, you can still own a, a kangaroo in All right, Colorado. That's weird. All right. Going back to what Jay was asking. Yeah. If you could wait, have or be an animal? Have. Okay. Have. Be an animal. Be an animal. So is it domesticated? Animorphs. Anything. Yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, I would hope that you would take a domesticated animal with you home. No, but I'm saying, like, if I say I wanted a lion right now, can, can I have a domesticated lion that acts like a cat? I mean, like a giant fucking like, cat. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, or will it kill or, me on sight? Yeah, you know, that kind yeah, of Let's thing. just say like house things that are normally house pets. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say bear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll do. It. I would love a bear. Okay, if a we're Pikachu. gonna stick with norm, like I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want normal house pet kind of things, I think I kind of want a ferret. If they weren't smelly. Oh, are they smelly? Yeah, my aunts yeah. had ferrets. Those things smell. Yeah, my turtle can smell pretty bad at times <laughs> if I don't like clean the filter yeah, for a that while. That doesn't like overtake your entire no, fa- house. Ferrets really it smell. does for my room. I'm pretty sure that's just you. Yeah, that's probably just me, though. <laughs> I am turtle. I am, I am turtle. turtle. I am turtle. <laughs> that's a new I am legend. <laughs> I am turtle. I am toidle. I like toidles. So your answer is ferret. 
if they didn't okay. smell. If, if it didn't smell, if not, uh, just the dog. Hit them yeah. up with that cologne. So. Okay, yeah. If do- Dog is too basic of an yeah. answer, so I'll choose Fly. something else. Um, I'll I'll always, or if you have a dog, sugar no glider. specific dog. A sugar glider? Yeah. Oh, the, the, the tiny little glider. things? Oh, those yeah. are the little dudes? Yeah. They look like s- kind of squirrel. Oh, the little monkey th- looking things? Sort of? They look flying squirrels. Okay. Like they tiny look flying to the squirrels. squirrels slash mice with little mm. like a. Have you ever seen a wingsuit? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks like yeah, that yeah. on an animal. But yeah. it like fits on the tip of your finger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. Super small. Uh, I think my answer would be a monkey, but mm. like a really smart one yeah. that like just hang out with you. I think that's just, <laughs> just hang out with you. Yeah, just like me, but in monkey form. Well, that's or primate ish me than mm. human. You say primate? Yeah, I, that's what I heard. I yeah, like the Pokemon. Pokemon ass. Primate. Is what oh, is wanted. that not what I said? You said what did I say? Ape, prime ape. Oh, <laughs> oh po- fucking Pokemon ass. No, it's just a type of beef. <laughs> Except ape. Prime ale. Prime ape. Prime <laughs> ape ribs. <laughs> can we eat monkey? Like, I'm without sure having physical Is that considered ups? cannibalism? That's what okay. I'm saying, right? Oh, that's what you're saying. Because it's like... <laughs> You know, we can't eat humans without it fucking with us. Can we eat monkeys you without it fucking with us? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if people have tried. I mean, I'm sure they do in, like, Get tribal countries. Get on the countries. podcast so we can ask <laughs> <her> <laughs> So we can ask about cannibals. That's not a marine, not marine animal. animal. <laughs> can we eat you, Brittany? <laughs> 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 no, that's not what we meant. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I would go for a monkey. Probably, I don't know, the. actually, it's probably like a chimp, right? Like the... Small like dudes? spider monkey. Yeah, I don't know. Not not like an orangutan or like a gorilla. Whatever. <laughs> gorilla. Yeah, I don't want fucking silverback. I don't. I don't want a fucking gorilla <laughs> in my house. <laughs> <laughs> not great. In. DK in your fucking. <laughs> oh, if I had a gorilla, I could give him a tie. That'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> that was where that thought was going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. So monkey. Yeah. I guess chimp. Uh. I don't know. You're the one who asked the question. Yeah, I don't know. I've always liked bearded dragons. Oh. But I just, some of them can be kind of dickish, so I don't know. Yeah. Or like Komodo dragon, but they're like saliva is poisonous or shit, right? Oh, is it? I think so. It's oh, like shit. their spit's like acidic or some shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> they like burn through walls. Dragon, and <laughs> yeah, they can be. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I hear about bearded <laughs> dragons a lot is about their pee. <laughs> what, does it smell really bad? No, they've just peed on a lot of people. Oh. <laughs> that's oh. It. That's, I've heard so many more stories about people <laughs> getting, you know, peed on by bearded dragons <laughs> than... Anything. How many and, people uh, you know with bearded dragons? <laughs> eight, <laughs> Did you say eight? At least eight people. What the <laughs> fuck? That you said that at the top of your head too, yeah, so you, you must like one, talk two, to the people nine. in the regular. <laughs> one, two, four, seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like birds a lot too, though. They can be. I, no, I don't know. They kind. make too much noise. I don't mind that. Yeah, I remember watching um Mango a Smash Bros streamer. Uh, he has a pet bird, and he was just. Chill on his head while he's playing. I was like, "Yo, that's fucking sick." Yeah. Um, do you remember Alyssa, like Brittany's friend? Yes. The party, yeah. Um, sh- like as soon as you walk into her house, there's like one of the massive birds. It's like a white. I think it's a cockatiel. That's what you call the one it. with the mohawk looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah, a white. Cockatiel. It's called. She called it Winry after FMA. Oh. But um, it's cool because they're like just let you, just to let you know as soon yeah. as you walk into the house, it's gonna like greet you. I was like, "What does that okay. mean?" Uh, yeah, I didn't know what it meant either. So I walked in and so I hear. It did this. <laughs> 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 no, and then as soon as I walk in the house behind me, I just hear "hello," like in a perfect human voice. I was like, "What the fuck?" Was that? <laughs> He's like, "Hello." Yeah. Wait, who said that? <laughs> yeah, so I think something like that would be cool. Because they don't squawk; or, they just or run. say human words. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna greet you. Run. <laughs> Get out. What are you doing here, human? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like to I, enter, I, you must answer by riddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why uh, birds that can mimic human sounds kind of make me uncomfortable. Because I'm just like, no, is that really a bird, or is that actually another person that's here <laughs> with me this time? Or I'd want that bird we just listened to earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that uh, the sound that Chidori makes in Naruto. Mm. It's like actually what a bird's bird, bird sounds yeah. like. I can't mm. remember what bird is it supposed to be. I don't remember. Chidori bird. I'm just kidding. Shidori bird. <laughs> but that's, um, what, that's what it was called in the anime, right? Yeah, it was like a, th- a, thousand, a thousand birds, birds chirping yeah. or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I know obviously all Pokemon are based on animals of, in some sort, or m- almost all animals. Yeah. Um, 
We were watching the all, our what is it our Earth our planet <laughs> our planet our Jesus. planet. There's one of the birds. I was like, hey, that kind of looks like a cormorant, and then it was like it said it like what it, uh, the, it was like a oh, cormorant is, is the actual name. Yeah, it was like oh, this is the cormorant. Yeah. Uh, we're native to this island. I was like, hey, I was right. I was just being stupid. <laughs> and then it shot a Pikachu out of its mouth. And yeah. <laughs> And then it did Thunderbolt, and we're like, wait a minute, what's <laughs> happening? Da, 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 da. Um, and we saw it get hit in the head with a Pokeball by the camera off. Oh, yeah, Cameraman Jay, off screen. what's your... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't need to shut Joseph only, up. Right now, I can only think of monster names for fucking Monster Hunter. Damn. Um, I want to... Oh. Jay wants it like a Glip Glorp or whatever. <laughs> 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 glip Glorp? <laughs> glip Glorp. <laughs> I'm so mad that's not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> we have Kuyu Yakus, but we don't have Glip Glorps. <laughs> we fucking missed out on that shit. Um, if Phoenixes were real, I'd want a Phoenix. <laughs> so, like, once it gets old, it just fucking bursts into flames. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? <laughs> Without warning. <laughs> <laughs> just chilling and. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like a small flame either. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like relative to the size. <laughs> it's like magnified. Yeah. <laughs> And especially if it's just chilling on your head, <laughs> and it's burst into <laughs> flames. <laughs> oh, but then you'd be covered in ashes and everything for like temporarily until yeah. it comes back. We're talking fantasy. Imagine no, if no, it no, talks. Real animals, real it's just animals. like real animals, uh, <laughs> you're feeding it, just like, Caca. it's time. <laughs> 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 My people need me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just chilling, like, like burk, burk, and then it looks at you and just. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> it's been a good run, my friend. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> um, uh, have you heard of uh, how dogs, when they have to pee, they look at you? Like, so supposedly, like it mm. makes them feel safe or something like that. As if, oh, like, no. oh, are you watching after me? Mm. But now I'm just imagining that Phoenix. <laughs> like, imagine it's like. <laughs> I, I know this. I saw this tweet. Uh, there's one dog. I don't think it's a specific breed. It was just like a specific one dog. They would bite things when they want attention. So there's just like a there's a whole thread of them biting like chairs or like tables <laughs> and such. It was just like biting pillows. So I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> but is it like a real bite or is it just no? Like it's just like a bite? put your mouth on. It's oh, just like okay. a. <laughs> <laughs> so all the stuff Joseph does. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, honestly. So when Joseph bites stuff, he just wants attention. Pretty much, it all makes sense. He's like, notice me. <laughs> <laughs> It all adds up. <laughs> um, I said this when we were watching. I don't think I said it on podcast though. Um, but apparently, elephants look at humans the same way humans look at puppies. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So okay. yeah. So like the they did like a study on their brains and like the like the dopamine or something yeah, like, that. like the the same thing lights up in their brain when they see humans. So they think they think we're cute. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So not everyone. So they want to watch us fight, <laughs> <laughs> and then they match us. I. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Joseph yeah, just wants attention yeah, again. I saw. He's not getting it, though. Anyway, <laughs> oh. I'd probably want to go for a dog because I'm a basic bitch, mm. and that's you know. all I like. So I, thought you were, I thought you were more of a cat person, though. I am, but I had a cat before, so. Oh, I would, uh, like, I would like experience something new. <laughs> no, no, I would definitely love having a cat. If I could have both, fuck it. I would have both, but. Mm. I um, mean, yeah, after having matcha just sit in your lap and just yeah, falling yeah, asleep, yeah. you're like, <laughs> <laughs> But I would want a husky. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, really? I like husky. Do you like like bigger size dogs? Yeah. Yeah. He want he wants a closest thing to a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> honestly. Also, it's huge, and I love it. There's a some you can ride into battle. Yeah. That's what <laughs> no, I want. those things are huge. <laughs> like there's. See me at arena. <laughs> 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 like there's a puppy that was uh, abandoned, and then they figured they did some gene testing on it at the shelter, and they figured out it was ninety percent wolf. Oh, ninety percent, ninety percent wolf, and then when you see its growth, it's it looks like it's ninety percent wolf. <laughs> it looks like you can actually ride it into battle. <laughs> or, sick, yeah. yeah, dangerous. That'd be sick to have a wolf. Oh, I mean, obviously a domesticated yeah. wolf, not just gonna fucking Maybe maul you in the sleep. Hyenas. hyenas are ugly as fuck. Yeah. They're funny looking. I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And there's yeah. like zero chance of um, domesticating oh, them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they probably yeah. have like 18 different types of rabies, too. <laughs> I heard they have like one of the hardest bites for four, four legged animals. That's yeah. scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because like it's hard for them to catch things. So when they do, they just like <laughs> they hold just on let, to let go. They're like, no! <laughs> You're <laughs> not running! The st- t- uh, stage five clingers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. But they'll laugh at any of your jokes. Dude, oh, shit, maybe I want them. 
<laughs> well, you can just actually make that like high pitched squeal. Like the cackle. Laugh? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's that pronounced. It's not as pronounced as like an actual laugh. But okay. yeah. Right, yeah. But it's still like a cackle. Yeah. Jackal. 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 Actually, Jackal. maybe a giraffe. I want to hear that fucker hum in the middle of the night. <laughs> Scare how, people how away. <laughs> How are you going to fit a giraffe? You wouldn't. I just want to hear it <laughs> fucking... Mm, mm. There are a lot of... Giraffe screaming. There are a lot of like hotels or, or resorts in Africa where it's just like a an Airbnb in the middle of like a giraffe like um zone. You said that's a common thing? Yeah. Wow. So you can legit just like... Obviously, when you sleep, have the windows closed. But <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you like... You can open the windows and just feed them through the window and shit like that. Why? Yeah. Just like in Last of Us. Hello? Oh, yeah. Why? They're just chilling out of college. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, what is... That's cool. Giraffes eating look funny, too. Mm. So is they're fighting. Yeah, they just <laughs> smack their necks into each other. Animals are weird. Yeah. yeah. All right, anyways. Yeah, we could end the podcast here now. <coughs> Thanks for watching. So... Oh, um, Tam, what animal would you want? Oh yeah, first oh. you haven't said anything. I forgot. Uh, Tam walked in like halfway through the podcast, but he hasn't said a single thing. Hi, hi, Tam. Hi, I don't know. Actually, um, it's hard to pick. I think a shark. A big. They got a little tameable shark, like that yeah. you can have. Yeah. 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 Then you're like, I'm tired of your shark. <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You weren't here for that, or, but or to keep him in his place, you just flip him and like, huh? Hmm? Yeah. What would you say to me? Yeah, oh, I, I I heard that part. Oh, you did. I heard that part. Oh, like, I wasn't sure if you heard that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Maybe a shark. Probably. <laughs> you flip him like for a second. Like, yeah, yeah. I can. I hold that power. <laughs> then flip him back. <laughs> I like the way you're doing it, Jay, because you're like, you're treating the shark as if it's literally like only this size. <laughs> yeah. And it'll per- perpetually stay that size forever. <laughs> but then it's so much of a hassle as if it's like a really big shark. Yeah. yeah. Then you gotta like. Yeah, you just like <laughs> bear hug it. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking my mic back to <laughs> no, um, you. Did I mean, you, the, oh, shark. Have you seen those videos of uh, divers playing with sharks? When, yeah, when a shark gets of? too close to them, they just flip them upside down. Oh, really? I've yeah. never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, when, because, like, they're not, the sharks aren't going to kill them, but when they're trying to, like, do their studies and shit, yeah. and they just keep, like, wanting to cuddle or whatever, they just, like, they grab them by the <laughs> snout and All then right, flip them. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Imagine doing that to, like, your girlfriend or something. <laughs> all right, all right, relax. Well, uh, hey, calm you get down. Too clingy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> flip me back, flip me back. <laughs> Isn't it that cats have that thing where, uh, what do you call it? They have this as they were a kitten. Uh, their the mom picks them up by a certain part of their neck, and yeah. then they just like they yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they tell you to do too as a cat owner. Yeah, like yeah, you just pick you, it up at the back yeah, of pick it up neck. by the back of the neck. It looks so funny, cause like because they just like bite the back of their neck and it's like ah. yeah. I always <laughs> wonder if that hurts. It looks like it. I does, don't think but, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if you take a vice grip and then it just stays perpetually like pressured enough on the neck mm. and you just you just i really pick it up whenever <laughs> <laughs> you're just like when your your kitten or cat is just being really annoying you're like you're going time out <laughs> <laughs> you need to hang him somewhere just, yeah <laughs> it's just stuck <laughs> in the corner of the room <laughs> yeah okay now i'll end the podcast <laughs> this is like the third time i've tried to do this oh wait have you heard of- oh <laughs> my god um okay so i realized i forgot to do this last episode but like i said in the beginning though uh, you can find us again on youtube.com slash honeybee productions and you can find us on our socials at instagram.com and twitter at honeybee underscore fuck that was wrong honeybee pro okay. underscore yeah. and then facebook at honeybee productions but i never post there but it's okay it's still there it's fine facebook is dead <laughs> but it's there and our youtube channel i said that already we said that that was the first thing he said you fuck and then <laughs> <laughs> you talk fast you could <laughs> you could uh find us on spotify apple podcast stitcher Castbox, and all your other favorite pet Podcast providers, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> podcast providers, um, and I think that's all I have to say this time. What you look give like us a five it. star on Apple oh, Podcasts if you listen forget. on that. Nobody listens on that. It's fine. I, I think we have few, but I don't remember. I haven't looked at those. I stats thought it in a was while. the only one that had zero. I don't remember. I haven't looked in a while. Yeah. But um, yeah. So thanks for listening, and oh, we we noticed this last week. We could actually say thanks for watching. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks, thanks for, for watching this episode thanks of the Honeybee watching. Podcast. This was season three, episode two. <gasps> My name is Warren. I'm Jay. I'm Joseph. I'm Tam. <laughs>
and I'm Juan. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Don't mix no. it up now that it works. <laughs> no. <laughs>